It's surprising. No, I mean, I've been living with it for like three years. <laughs> so, so, I mean, it's great when you know, I first came a few days when I came back from Cuba. Mick Jagger is one of the most influential artists in the history of rock and roll. This famous idol of stone and roll is a musician and a songwriter, film producer, and actor. Known for his showmanship, Jagger is one of the greatest names in the world of music. He is also a founding member of the popular band The Rolling Stones. Apart from his affiliation with The Rolling Stones, Jagger also had an incredible solo career, delivering many hit albums, such as She's the Boss, Primitive Cool, Wandering Spirit, and Goddess in the Doorway. He was also a famous counterculture symbol, gaining much attention for his drug usage and onstage notoriety. Infrastructure, really. So we had to bring it all from Miami. So when we when we started out, it was all between. It was all about getting the permits from the United States and the permits from Cuba. It's like, hello everyone, welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is Michael Philip Jagger, also known as Mick. He was born on July 26, 1943, in Dartford, United Kingdom, making him 77 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 178 centimeters or five feet, 10 inches tall. Jagger has done it all and seen it all, yet he's now settling into older life with a far from wild hobby of bingo. He is, of course, Mick Jagger. So the hobby is unlike the vast majority of other bingo goers. A passion for the dab has seen him host many a bingo game in his own home with A-list celebrities taking part in what would be exhilarating bingo parties. Jagger has been married and divorced once and has also had several other relationships. From 1966 to 1970, Jagger had a relationship with Marianne Faithful, the English singer-songwriter actress with whom he wrote Sister Morphine, a song on the Rolling Stones 1971 album Sticky Fingers. He pursued a relationship with Marsha Hunt from 1969 to 1970. Jagger met the American singer, and though Hunt was married, the pair began a relationship in 1969. The relationship ended in June 1970 when Hunt was pregnant with Jagger's first child, Harris. She is the inspiration for the song Brown Sugar, also from Sticky Fingers. In 1970, he met Nicaraguan-born Bianca Perez Mora Masias. They married on the 12th of May, 1971, in a Catholic ceremony in Saint-Tropez, France, and had one child, Jade. They separated in 1977, and in May 1978, she filed for divorce on the grounds of his adultery. During his marriage to Perez Mora Masias, Jagger had an affair with then-Playboy model B.B. Buell from 1974 to 1976. In late 1977, Jagger began dating American model Jerry Hall. They moved in together and had four children. They attended an unofficial private marriage ceremony in Bali in Indonesia on the 21st of November 1990 and lived at Down House in Richmond, London. During his relationship with Hall, Jagger had an affair with Italian singer-model Carla Bruni from 1991 to 1994. She went on to become the First Lady of France when she married then-President of France Nicolas Sarkozy. Jagger's relationship with Hall ended. His affair with Brazilian model Luciana Jimenez Marad surfaced. Jagger's unofficial marriage to Hall was declared invalid, unlawful, null and void, by the High Court of England and Wales in London in 1999. Jagger's subsequent relationship was 2000 to 2001 with the English model Sophie Dahl. Jagger had a relationship with fashion designer Loren Scott from 2001 until her suicide in 2014. She left her entire estate estimated at $9 million to him. Jagger set up the Lauren Scott Scholarship at London's Central St. Martin's College. Since Scott died in 2014, 
Jagger has been in a relationship with American ballet dancer Melanie Hamrick. Jagger was 73 when Hamrick gave birth to their son in 2016. It's fun, it's this interesting, it's this, oh, this is boring, uh, <laughs> chuck that out of oh, home in New York. And I went to see the ABBA Museum, but that's like it. Michael Jagger was born to Basile Fanchoué Jagger and Eva Unsley Mary. He is the eldest of two sons born to the couple. He began singing at a very young age and was a member of the church choir. In 1950, he became friends with Keith Richards at Wentworth Primary School. The duo lost contact with each other and Jagger went on to graduate from Dartford Grammar School. The two eventually resumed their friendship in 1960 and discovered that they shared a shared passion for rhythm and blues, R&B music. While Richards went on to form his group with the guitarist Brian Jones, Jagger completed his education at the London School of Economics, where he dreamt of becoming a politician or a journalist. In 1962, the band The Rolling Stones formed, Jagger as the lead vocalist and on harmonica. In 1964, the Rolling Stones released their first self-titled record. The following year, they came up with a song titled The Last Time, which peaked at number one on the UK charts. From 1966 to 1969, the band toured the world, performing great hits like Let's Spend the Night Together and Symphony for the Devil. During this time, one of their band members, Brian Jones, committed suicide. Mick Taylor quickly succeeded Jones and the group went on to record Let It Bleed in 1969. Two years later, they released one of their best albums, Sticky Fingers, which included singles like Brown Sugar and Wild Horses. In the 1970s, Jagger experimented with other genres of music, including punk and disco. The album Some Girls, which was released in 1978, showcased different genres of music. Throughout the late 1970s, he went on several tours with the Rolling Stones. In 1985, he decided to go solo and launched his debut album, She's the Boss. In 1987, he released his second solo album, Primitive Cool. Two years later, the Rolling Stones came back with a bang with the album Steel Wheels. In 1990, he released his third solo album, Wandering Spirit, which became a commercial success. In 2001, he released Goddess in the Doorway, which included the hit single, Visions of Paradise. The following year, he appeared in the movie, The Man from Elysian Fields. In 2007, the Rolling Stones made a fortune while on their A Bigger Bang Tour, which earned them a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. Two years later, he collaborated with U2 and performed Gimme Shelter at the 25th anniversary Rock and Roll Hall of Fame concert. In 2011, he formed a new supergroup called Super Heavy with band members Josh Stone, A.R. Rahman, Damian Marley, and Dave Stewart. The Rolling Stones played at the Gastonbury Festival in 2013. In the same year, Jagger teamed up with his brother Chris Jagger for two new duets for his album Constantina Jack, which was released to mark the 40th anniversary of his debut album. In July 2017, Jagger released a double A-sided single, Gotta Get a Grip, England Lost. In September 2018, Variety announced that Jagger would portray an English art dealer collector and patron in Giuseppe Capitonia's thriller, The Burnt Orange Heresy. Sort of social and cultural event, you know, I mean, Obama's speech was very political and I thought a very interesting and informative speech and he said a lot of things. His estimated annual salary is $3.1 million. As of 2001, Mick Jagger's estimated worth is $360 million. Mick owns $250 million worth of real estate around the globe. A particularly notable example of his portfolio is the six-room beachfront compound on the private island of Mystique, which he actually rents out for a cool $30,000 a week. He owns a second home on Mystique with a negated country club. He also owns a castle in the south of France. In his garage, you can find a Mercedes-Benz S550, a Range Rover Vogue, 
and a Land Rover Defender. 